Hello everyone and greetings. Welcome to my annual Anno 1800 Mega City Edition. Going into the third year now, the ultimate playthrough of Anno 1800 with all DLCs, so up to 20 in total, included over 120 mods. The latest version of the Combat Overhaul mod included to significantly boost the AI's and pirates' strength. The goal of this let's play is to build up several mega cities, with crown falls of course being the biggest to rule them all, with monuments, parks and an intimidating skyline, but also massive cities in the new world, Africa and the Arctic, together with smaller flavor cities in the old world. We are going to fight against brutal AI opponents, trying to achieve domination and securing vital islands. We are going to follow quests and stories to reap rewards and we are going to explore everything this masterpiece of a game has to offer. You'll see Anno 1800 with new eyes in this let's play as basically every aspect has been improved by mods with new buildings, mechanics, many new ships and city types. But before we bobble around so much, let's have a quick look at these settings before we jump into a new Mega City playthrough. As always, we are going with the less guidance mode for our big sandbox mega city let's play. We are going to choose as a nice portrait. We are going to choose as once again the color of red under the banner of the cat. Uh, the name is as always clear and once again here now we are going with all the DLCs activated as you can see. So we are going with the big mega city. We are going to choose all the gameplay um, DLCs that we have and of course also the, the new territories like Africa and the passage, the Arctic, everything is included. Next up of course we are taking all the bonuses with us and now for the custom settings that we have. We are going with a custom seat here um, that I found in the forums. It's a very good seat, I think. And 1568, it is 5068 if you want to play along. Just make sure that all the settings here are as you, as I have it, right? For the seat to work for you. We're going with the um, mainly large islands, large um, island size, large world size, a normal difficulty we're going with plenty and plenty fertility and mineral deposits of course it's not adding any difficulty per se to us it is adding difficulty to the ai opponents because they will have more resources and can build bigger cities and larger fleets so this is actually pretty important um, to get the maximum difficulty out as paradox as it might sound at first um, for the characters uh, we are going to choose uh, this time we are going oh, with yes. Bent once again we are going with Miss Hunt I'm also really once again forward. and we are going with Hugo I Mercier now the idea is um, because we had uh, Princess Ching here instead of Hugo which led to a triple alliance against us in my one island challenge for example so they would just harm uh, they, they have too, too much harmony between each other and that really hurts us uh, because they would all just go alliance and fight against us um, which is nice for an extreme playthrough but for the mega city playthrough I want to go with a more balanced approach and Bente Jorgensen and Hunt do like each other a lot. Bente does like Hugo a lot but Hunt doesn't like Hugo and Hugo doesn't like Hunt and Hugo kind of likes Bente. So there is a, a nice synergy here right because two of them can counter one or one can counter one. Um, so it, it to it's totally random how the game will go of course. We might end up with an alliance with Hugo against those two. Um, it might also be that they actually go with a triple alliance which I hope they don't. They should not because those two don't like each other so well. But they're, they're countering off right. I also had at some point the Admiral in it. Um, the Admiral is not liked by both of them so they would just go alliance and uh, bully the Admiral. This time it should not work that much because Hugo and Bente are actually okay right and only hunt and hugo don't like each other so this should um this should lead to a nice synergy there um for difficulty for the traders and pirates of course everything is on and since we have the combat overhaul mod installed i'm once again going with average pirates don't fret this is a very very hard right um because of the combat overhaul mod that uh, just boosts every ai opponent in the game massively as we can also see here benta is a uh, two star for example so they are really hard um, as you've seen in my uh, previous videos. For income we're going with low inactive upkeep is ac uh, enabled. We have to pay a fee if we want to um, have the construction cost refund. Building relocation is okay but we have to pay a fee once more. Um, trading restock is a rare. City incidents are hard. Quest frequency is rare. Influence is medium this time. I'm not going with the lowest one because with medium it is easier and better to build bigger fleets and more harbor defenses so it's just adding once again to the overall difficulty of the game because the ai is also able to build even bigger fleets than before and skyscraper upkeep is high so the end game remains very difficult um, with that 
Now for starting conditions, we're going to only start with a flagship. We are going to have no harbor. We are going to start with a very small capital and of course no revealed map. These are the settings. Don't get illusioned by the difficulty bar here. We are playing on a really high difficulty setting because of the combat overhaul mod. Um, if you want to uh, see proof, just go to my extreme playthrough or to my one island challenge and you can see just the difficulty of these AI opponents. However, we're going with a more balanced approach for the mega city so that we can really see everything the game has to offer and big huge cities these are the settings i think we are ready to go let's get cracking flagship ready for all. oh my goodness how exciting here we are now finally with our flagship over there we can probably see hugo Crisis. and we also get our first quest right away where's the queen gone so there we have hugo he's also finding him an island now and of course with our expedition mod we can start with crown falls right away which we are going to do so i'm not going to start with a city in the old world and we're going to sail straight to um straight to archie uh, who is giving us a quest the queen has gone and we're sick and left to deal with the headless state so archibald blake has come for you to help and has come to, has come to your help right he wants us to help him there's also the other opponents that we can see here for now um and yeah we are going to start this quest and get to to cape trelawney right away of course we're going to follow this quest along not in the beginning though as i really just want to get started we should hurry up because right now we have to pay 100 credits already per minute for our flagship <laughs> and we only have 25,000 coin left so this means that my money is already bleeding and we should really hurry up with our expedition and getting started in crown falls also very exciting right zero population right now this is getting really high um 100 influence for starters we have and of course the ai opponents are looking for the best islands now as the whole game is starting to ramp up as we are also starting in the old world but we're going to leave the old world behind really quickly And after a bit of time, we reach the island of Archibald Blake, where he is having a quest for us that we should definitely follow along. And we should start a, an expedition to find the Queen. So let's go ahead, assign our flagship to this mission with some building materials and some weapons on board, and we can start right away. A competitor raised a settlement. Meanwhile, our competitors are finally settling in on their islands somewhere here. We cannot see it yet, as we're going to explore this part later on. And just with a bit of preparation, the flagship is on its way for the expedition to Crown Falls. I am not here to escape domestic dissatisfaction, but to address it. Our nation has lost its pride. But pride can be restored. This place, Trelawney, is the site of my father's great naval victory over our rivals, La Corona. We were the victors here at Trelawney, yet all the spoils remain in the lap of Poseidon. The scepter of Capon has long granted its bearers indisputable authority, but it sank to the depths, along with La Corona's fleet. I can still smell father's victory here at Trelawney. It is his greatest legacy. Finding the sunken scepter of Capon, the trophy we never claimed for that victory, will remind us of our past glories and restore the people's faith in their monarch. We shall build a new capital of the realm here, perhaps call it Crown Falls, in view of the sparkling cataracts you see the island possesses. This may be my greatest legacy. Help me build it and find the scepter. And I shall designate you Warden of Trelawney, my official representative in these waters. And this we shall do. Here we are now in Cape Trelawney, finally. Let's get right over there. We have our huge landmass. That we are going to, of course, start building, building railways, building skyscrapers, monuments, and, well, also seeing lots of destruction, most likely, in the harbor area that will build probably our industrial zone, and we'll see this um, then as we progress. Now, my ship is arriving, the Endeavor. We've already lost 1,500 coin around um, before we really get started with the, the city itself. Let's just get over there. There's lots of islands in between, so we will discover some of them, like there is already one coming up. 
the island right next to Crown Falls. We're going to settle actually quickly because I do need to settle one island for the capital of Queendom to work for this quest here because this is of course is modded that we are that early in Crown Falls. So I'm going to, to just settle here real quick, which is going to cost me a bit again on this worthless island. And then we just continue onwards to the queen who is waiting right at Crown Falls. This is, as we can see, now costing me and we are down to 20,000 on the credits. Of course, with all of that, uh, we're still not having a city while the opponents are already building up. Hugo has reached worker level already. And that means we, we should probably hurry up with our beginning. <laughs> After a bit of time, my ship arrives at the Queen. At the Queen's. And let's have a look what she has to say. She offers us some basic building materials to start getting a smaller village cracking in Crownfold. So let's go ahead and start building us a smaller trade post right here at this huge beach area. And I think this one is the right location for it. Let's go ahead and found Crownfalls. And with that, we also get the first quest, a fresh start, reach a city status of village. And we are going ahead and starting building up our first smaller from the infrastructure. Of the victory my father masterminded. And there it goes, uh, the foundation of our glorious town. We are going to have a bit of a, a, a road going up here into the forestry area where I would like to start with my timber production. So we're going ahead as always with our standard production of uh, let's make it four sawmills. And let's have also two up here and around it then our lumberjack hut. So one here, this area, in this area and in this area. And they are going to provide then the logs to my my sawmills and we can actually go ahead and build all of them at once our first basic industry however no one is working at them yet as we don't have the workforce so i do need to go ahead now and also start building my first villagers and with that ladies and gentlemen the first people move into crown falls age of agriculture has started we got 10 people <laughs> living now here and they're going to move of course in right at this very moment As we can see, up to 20 could live in one house because we have now the lifestyle needs then also implemented. That is though something for much later once we unlock the airships. And as we can see, fish and work clothes would be the first demands, schnapps and a pup the next demands. However, as people are moving in, also my smaller first industry will start its production now and we just need to wait here a little bit right now. I might also actually build me a second warehouse then right away um, once I can afford it because we're going to need quite a lot of them here. Um, as lots of people are going to produce. We're going to bump up productivity for the timber production as well by 50% right away, causing, uh, causing me a lot of discontent, but I'm not expecting any rides this soon. As we can see for my fresh start, 30 out of 100 farmers has been reached and we're just waiting now for a bit of timber to come in. Attention While we do this, my endeavor can now continue scouting ahead in Cape Trelawney because boy, we have a lot of things to scout. So let's just point some waypoints here. Also old Nate, as we can see, has appeared on the map who has probably also got a quest for us. We would need to sail to him though. I'm waiting on that as exploration is a bit more important. We should start settling on another island ASAP. So not only this one here, that is right in front of Crown Falls, which is not very good. I would also definitely like to settle on a bigger island before the opponents get here because they will actually, you know, start settling in Cape Trelawney as well. And we should secure some islands because once they once they settle on an island, we will not be able to take it back anymore and only by military force uh, later on. So we definitely should focus on settling on a few islands there as well. More people are moving in, more building materials are coming in and I can continue building more pharma houses. As more timber is rolling up, we can also build more houses. Once again, a few more upgrades over here and here. We got 82 farmers now, so the 
The timber production definitely should be up and running. However, what we can see is our small warehouse is quite overwhelmed with all the carts coming in. So once I get another 10 tons of timber, which should be happening any second now, I can build another warehouse. Also, what we can see with this one is that my balance is deep red. We're down to almost 10,000 only. Uh, village status has been reached, so this was another smaller quest. Do we get actually any reward out of that? I don't think so, of these quests in the beginning. Um, and yeah, we definitely should uh, get profitable ASAP. Now, with the village status, we have unlocked also another need for my villagers, which is the work cloth and the fish, also the schnapps. Both of them are very important, especially the schnapps then for the money. Let's start by getting us some fish out so we can have the first fishing piers then right over here and let's just have them like this so we can also have then some room in between and I would really just start with those and let's have with one over there as it is. My goal is to make this one my whole industrial zone later on with the docklands and over here we're going to have a beauty um, harbor with, um, of course, big cities and the scholar district then, but that is for later. I'm a huge fan of organic city building, so we're going to see districts being built up and then eventually being moved or destroyed again as we make room for something new, just in real life as well. I don't like to plan my city from the beginning right away, as this is rather tedious and absolutely not realistic. Now, in that case, let's have a more, as we can see, a lot of timber is now rolling in, so we can more quickly build up some stuff. New buildings have been unlocked, that is the pub. I would like to build the pub right away as, well, it is providing happiness for my people and happiness they need right away because I'm pushing them by 50% in the lumberjacks. Next up, let's continue with rolling this road that we have from the main building getting over here to the cliffs because those cliffs are a very good location i think for our first sheep farms that i would like to have so we're going to have a road all the way up there and start building up my sheep farms And with that, we got our first sheep industry up and running. Let's start with it and build two framework knitters and two sheep farms right away. Plus, of course, our fire station that we're going to need because there's going to be some fires. And yeah, as always, uh, those sheep are going to be really, really beautiful uh, or happy in this location here by the cliffs. Let's also have a quick look at them. Uh, they are saying to us and just enjoying the view into the or to the ocean we can of course then expand way more than over here once we need this very important also that we go ahead right away with our schnapps production as schnapps is one of the primary factors of profit in the beginning and once again we're building some fire stations we're building the schnapps distilleries let's start with eight however we could e expand here uh, more into this direction and what schnapps also needs is potato farms so we can start with the first ones then here let's just see that we make it like so and then we can copy this plantation here and then we can quadruple this plantation and then we can make it out into eight of these plantations that we want of course for starters now let's also go ahead since we have the timber to start with the first plantations and also the first schnapps distilleries. As my first industry starts to roll, we are really red now, 500 negative and uh, four, down to 4,000 credits. So we really need to get profitable now. And let's build more farmer houses. The farmers pay us some taxes and the more needs are fulfilled, the more taxes they pay us. Now work clothes should be coming in soon. And the same goes with the schnapps. And with that, we would have then all needs fulfilled for the farmers in order for them to level up to workers. Let's quickly check out our consumption rates. As I can see right now, we already have a consumption of four schnapps. So I do need to provide more um however for the work cloth we should be fine for this tiny population there however as the workforce moves in we do now have a surplus of plus one for schnapps and work cloth fish is a bit down so it is advised to build a second fishery we definitely don't want to run out of food and my fisheries are doing the job for that in our small crown falls harbor and yeah i'm really hoping now that my balance improves schnapps is finally coming in we should see this on the balance as we're going from negative 500 to negative 150 for now. The population is growing to 600 people. Let's continue with a few more farmers now. Right over here with all the remaining timber that we have. As we can come closer now to break even, hopefully. A land lush and green. Oh, and also, of course, my consumption goes up then with that. What I also need to push right away is another distillery, another farm. 
and on the other hand another sheep farm and another framework knitter. Getting closer to 700, 800 people now. But also getting closer to bankruptcy. While all of this is working, my flagship is doing an amazing job at scouting the map. So we found a few more islands that we can settle on. This one, this one looks very promising and big. Lots of space that we would have here. This is still my favorite, though we don't have hops on this island here. Hops is something I'm going to need, but we have fur here and hops on this big island. Down here we also have some red pepper, very important for later on. And lots of iron deposits that we have. Zinc and copper on the one that is closest to Crown Falls. Lots of coal and oil on this bigger, more remote island. So we have lots of options, lots of choices that we can do then. Let's just hope we do the right ones. I continue with a few more farmers. Right over here and here. And as more farmers move in, we also have our chief break even. We're having a bit of a profit now, plus 140 coin right now. So the balance is going up again. And as we also can see here, the population is getting close now to a thousand and we should break it now. There you go. The first thousand people officially live in Crown Falls. Happy rejoice. <laughs> there you go. Next up, I think we have now all the needs fulfilled. So we can actually go ahead and upgrade. Yes, we can do this. Let's go for tier two right away with the workers. You reached a new milestone. And with that, we reach the age of industrialization as the first workers move into these sexy buildings. And of course, as we have the timber, let's continue with upgrading a few more. This once again jumps my balance there because workers tend to pay more taxes than farmers. However, they have vastly more needs. We also get a resident quest, a firefighter's fanatic. He wishes to join the local squad when he grows up. I'd mean the world to him if you could make take a picture of the fire station to hang by his bad side. Let's go ahead. Take a photo of the fire station. So these are some flavor quests of my residents. Residences and sometimes we actually get useful items out of that. Photo has been taken and we do get a bosun out of that. That would actually be a 6,000 selling price um, if we sell this item. So we could, yeah, jumpstart our economy a bit more because we are going to see some very expensive buildings soon. Next up, I think we are almost done now with scouting Cape Trelawney as I've found most of the major islands that I can see. There would be some smaller here. Let's take my flagship to High Clarence Hall to the old world. Because over there, things are growing and I want to I want to scout the, the old world to find out what my opponents are doing and where they actually live. Because we only really know Hugo. Uh, we don't know Hunt has a second island already, but I haven't found her main island yet and I definitely want to see what they're up to. Lots of timber is rolling in as always. We continue with upgrading and reach the next city status, Port Town. And of course, with all of that... Yeah, consumption is going up. Fish is now out again. However, schnapps and work clothes are still holding up fantastically. Let's go ahead and build another fishery. Next expansion, what we can and should do right away is start building up our next building material. So timber is rolling in, however, bricks are missing. So let's go ahead and bricks are going to be needed now. We do have a clay deposit over there. We got in total four clay deposits in Crown Falls, and this is the first one. Let's go ahead with our materials that we have unlocked now, the clay pit, and together with that, two brick factories. And of course, as always, we're going a uh, warehouse and very important as well, a small fire station then right next to this. And this is now consuming workers then, 50 workers per building. And this will be in total quite a few additional workers that are coming, but that are being used now. We do have still 200 workers now available and 100 are being consumed now in my first brick production. Meanwhile, the city is coming along. We can continue building a few more farmers over there. And we might think about our first next expansion, probably into this area now.
there we have it, the next block. Bear in mind, we're still painting basic buildings everywhere. We're going to remove a lot of them again as we need to add more and higher service buildings later on. For now though, taxes are the most important thing. We are now really going very low here. Let's continue by spending the timber on the first farmers on that side. As I just need to get the taxes flowing in. But of course the city is going to change dramatically as we progress into the higher tiers. For now though, money is everything. Holy cow, we are low right now. My consumption is still looking okay. However, we will need to reinforce schnapps and work clothes now soon, which will cost me money again. With more workers coming in, we've also unlocked the first worker resident quest. My mates wanted to see who's strong and turns out I won, but I may or may not need bricks to rebuild something, please. Oh, you Let's need bricks. Everything. How many bricks do you need? Six tons. We can afford that. Let's get him six uh, tons of bricks. We also get the farmer quest. And we do get a reverberatory furnace for 20,000 we could sell or we could boost the ironworks by 50% productivity later on if we can. Once we can afford a trade union. Doesn't sound so bad. Let's continue with some more farmers over here as we have the timber. We will need another fisherman because of that. And I definitely, definitely will now need, yep, more schnapps. So let's go ahead, build two more schnapps distilleries for another 200 coin and another two potato farms for another 400 coin. As we can see, a thousand we have now. I would like to use this to build the last sheep farm over there and the last framework knitter for that side. As we can see here, the city for now ends then with the farms right next to it. Just as it should be, right? So they have small or low commute times. Let's build a few more farmers here and here. I'm confident it's ready to go. Oh, and we also have the first newspaper edition that we can go. We have 84 influence available right now. Two of them are looking rather good. One of them is negative, and I would like to use um, that for a bit of a money boost here. So spend, spend, spend. Just for your information, we can manipulate the newspaper of our city and giving us bonuses at the cost of influence. Right now, we don't need the influence for anything else. So I can use it to, for example, boost my income there a tiny bit. And we should look at that. Yep, 370 we have right now on the balance as we're getting closer to 2,000 people living in our smaller village. Go ahead with a few more farmers over there and also here. Meanwhile also my flagship Endeavor has ar arrived in the old world and we can now go cracking on exploring some of the, the walls that we have around it. So once again I'm going to make some checkpoints just to explore some islands. We haven't found Bente yet, nor have we found uh, Hunt's main island, nor have we found the traders and the pirate and Harlow. And I definitely should make sure that my flagship is not running into her base because it would be the end of it. And we only have one ship for now. Oh, very good. At least we have found Eli right over here. He's going to play a major role later on because he's selling us some very good items that we can use, plus also some quests here and there. Let's continue with the upgrading of workers in Crown Falls over here and also on the other side of the main road now here. So this is going to be our first avenue out of many that we're going to have in Crown Falls. Then I'm going to make sure that we keep it clear. Also, Old Nate tries to trade with us. Unfortunately, we don't have anything available yet. As we breach 2,000 people in Crown Falls, we can continue with our expansion. Money's rolling in a bit, and I would like to work on also my next production that we have, which is my the first uh, worker goods. Oh, look at that. Margaret Hunt and Benta have reached a trade agreement, so they're already doing some diplomacy there, which reminds me, we should probably also do this. There is Margaret Hunt. Let's just have a look at her we and flatter her plan. very unsuccessfully. And oh, Hugo Mercier, that is looking good, though. The first thing uh, for tier 2 is that we upgrade the trading post now. Uh, this will cost me 2,500 credits. It is important though because it allows us to have 75 tons of more storage. Let's go ahead and have the first upgrade for the trading post. As we also see some fire now in Crown Falls itself. Let's go ahead and start by having a few more fire stations. We already have one close by. But uh, let's have a second I one and be like safe. And also probably another one see. then a bit further Jerry, over there. So we can the reach the whole Foundation. city with our fire stations. With you. And yeah, Bent introduces herself. So we found her, Glad most likely her main yourself. island. Benteborg. <laughs> that is coming up now here. 
And as we can see, she's already working on a bricks production right over there. And there's her city. She already has a second island then as well that she's building up. So as expected, Benta is expanding quite fast. Oh, and we also see the pirate and Harlow, who is sailing the ocean with some ship of the lines already. So tier three ships and disappearing into the fog. The fires are raging, but my firefighters are already very diligently at work trying to put it out, put them out, uh, but they're still spreading and my people are flabbergasted because of that. And so comes up also the main island of Miss Hunt. Already some heavy industries we can see right over there. Also the weapons production of course as expected. And she's got the first shipyard as well. Probably started building up her fleet soon. That is enough for me for now. We have found all the main islands. We know exactly where they are now. And I'm going to return with my flagship now back to Crown Falls. Because we will need to start some expeditions and also settling on more islands soon. Let's have it better at my harbor area before the pirate takes it. Meanwhile, I would like to continue with the expansion of Crown Falls uh, as we do have Every space day and day yeah, we are running out of it. So let's go ahead. And here we go, once again, another whole district with the marketplace with pop. Let's go ahead, build the first farmers then in this area too. As we slowly start expanding now towards the center of Crown Falls then. And as we can see, more avenues appear. This is another one here that is going then down later on to this area. And then we definitely should make sure that we have another bigger avenue then down into our main harbor area. Since fish is becoming increasingly rare, I would like to build another warehouse over there for Crown Falls, where we are going to have then some more fishermen that are going to be in uh, this in this central harbor area. So we could make it like that most likely. Dinosaur. And more like that. Uh, that's not exactly going to work, so we're going to make it like... Yeah, this is working out though. And we should hopefully be able to build a road here. We are, because the cliffs are always a bit tricky there, but that's fine. And this is going to lead to yet another four more fishermen. Five more, actually. Let's start building three right away. They're rather cheap, so we can afford a bunch of them. As the harbor area is getting a bit dense here now. Yeah, the fire is still raging. There's still some fires that are being doused right now. We get lots of ruins that we can rebuild them. And finally, the fire is gone. Let's repair all the ruins so and be happy and so again. Also, Benta likes that. Same. Now, very nice Benta. By the way, Benta, have we met yet on the flattery scale? I we could try it. Oh, she feels flattered by that for now. As we can see, military score is equal right now. Economy score, we are actually a bit better there. I'm definitely sure that this is going to change soon as Midhunt is already catching up. And Hugo is the first one who has the, full, uh, the military ships, the gunboats, are roaming the oceans now. He's got actually quite a few of them already. There's two here. His flagship over there. Is he actually settling on another island already? I think he is. Yep. Settle. Also settled over there. As the old world is getting crowded. It is also time to start the next industries or at least the foundation for those. So we're going to move our road now over here. Let's just make sure that this one is going to be a bigger road than later on as we make the connection with uh, Central Crown Falls. As we move now into this area, a bit further up ahead here, please. And yep, that's looking like a good location for our first pig farms. We do have enough bricks and enough timber and my people demand sausages and we of course should provide. There is another clay pit over there that I would like to use as well and implement and I think this is then the right location for my next industry. So we can already go ahead for the materials, start with the next clay pit. 
in the next clay deposit let's have this one close by and of course also as always a nice smaller uh, fire station and with that also the first uh, pig farms that we have then right next to our slaughterhouses this is a production that we are probably going to get rid of again and move to another island at some point later because it is causing um, unattractiveness however for now we of course need to have it here we do need one ton of a sausage per minute right now and this would be exactly at one slaughterhouse let's go with two because i like to have a bit of a surplus there and the ratio is exactly one pig farm for one slaughterhouse and with that we are already golden on the the sausage production for now on our way to artisans as quickly as possible because with artisans we're going to unlock the new world that i will want to colonize asap the other industry we can branch out with my road network all the way here to the mountains because here at the mountains we got our iron deposits that i'm going to need and this is exactly where i would like to start because we got the third building material available now the steel beams and those i want to start as well for that we do need one iron mine we don't have coal mines yet so in order to furnaces to be fueled we do need to have the charcoal kilns so this is what i like to have then let's have two furnaces here together with one charcoal kiln on that side and one charcoal kiln on that side and i'm also going to have then my steelworks right here for now this is the first basic production of that of course let's go ahead and move them right over here and we could actually go ahead and start this production already and we could have the same thing then right here with this iron deposit and with this iron deposit and uh, how lucky we are there is already a clay deposit then as well right next to this however i cannot build it yet why because we are out of money i cannot afford this the sausage production was already enough so i'm going to wait for a bit of sausage to move in and then we have uh, the coin for more industry let's in the meanwhile continue though with uh, building more houses so we have plenty of timber though as plenty of timbers rolling in all the time and I will, uh, I'm also able now to continue building more workers, right? So upgrading more farmers. We got 1,500 farmer workforce at the moment. That is so much that I can really go crazy on the upgrading process as long as we can afford it, of course, with our uh, consumption rates. Meanwhile, my flagship is also coming back to Crown Falls again from the old worlds. And we're going to have a specific task for it right away that is getting some building materials on board so let's just wait it out there yeah 30 tons should be fine and let's go with uh, 20 tons of steel beams so these are still the starter steel beams that we got from the queen and i would like to use this now to settle on uh, a few more islands here that we can secure for us because right now the ai opponents have not arrived and at least on two islands i would like to settle so let's just check it out what of these islands are the best this one has lots of iron and coal deposits plus oil and it has nitro and grape. It does not have hops. We would have hops on Pont de Rodochon, but this is not something that would be sufficient. This is looking much better. We have grain and hops, the beer production and the fur, plus a bit of oil and zinc. I think this is my next island that we can use for our purposes and a nice big beach area. So let's go ahead with this one. That island would be in between. It has some red pepper, which is something we also need. Yeah, it's not a very good island though. And as we will need to be very careful what islands we settle, I think I'm not going for it at the moment. As the next fire is spreading, of course, Miss Hunt rejoices <laughs> as she likes to see my city in ruin. Let's continue with the upgrading. More workers that we can afford here. Mistake. This little area here I would like to keep available now for a school though that we're going to add then soon. So let's get rid of these buildings. As I said, of course, we're going to delete some buildings again. Here we can still add some more farmers to the area. Very good. Meanwhile, my flagship arrives at this new island here and yeah, we can build it right away. 2,500 credits, we can afford it for now. Lost Mill, a Quen settlement. And that's basically it for now. I'm going to take the resources back with me again because we still would like to settle on another island which is that massive old island over here for another 2,500 credits. And then I should stop because we are getting low influence and I do need that for the New World Islands too. Let's just get over there as well. In the meantime, we do have enough money again and a thousand on the balance right now as we're coming closer to 4,000 people. I do have enough building materials and I would really like to jumpstart my iron industry now by building an iron mine. We also have enough workers, of course, so we can go ahead with this. So two furnaces are being powered by one iron mine and two charcoal burners. 
And as this production is starting to ramp up, we can then also forge at least two of those steel mills here now. That was very expensive and brings us down to 900 credits only and 300 on the balance, as this is just very, very expensive. And, oh my goodness, Miss Hunt threatens already. She, she wants us to pay 28,000 credits. We don't have that, and that means we have the first war declaration already. Oh no, she rebuffed only. Very good. So she did not declare war yet. However, yet. That was just a small threat of her. Yeah, we probably should start with our first defenses then already. Yeah, the iron industry bought, brought my workers down to uh, almost a 10. Negative. So let's open up the sausages finally for my people. We should have it now in store. There you go. 21 tons of sausage available. And this one comes in. And with that, more people will move into the uh, worker residences. But of course, the we can also upgrade more people to workers. With increased consumption, it is also time to upgrade the last potato field and the last schnapps distillery that we had so far. However, of course, this is not the end. I'm just going to have another block then available to us as well. And we can, of course, copy these whole fields to that side here as well, which I would like to do. Let's have a smaller road in between. And with that, we can also add a few more schnapps distilleries and, of course, another warehouse together with another fire station. And the same thing we can then do also do for the sheep farms, which is also running low now. I could just take the whole thing here and copy it to the other side. Like so, if we want that, and of course we do. In between here, I'm probably going with another fire station. Since we are also getting capped on timber more often, I would also like to continue now um, expanding my logging industry and we're just going to copy the whole mess and get it right over here closer to the uh, to my to my mountain area where we already use some of it like so and then I make the connection here. And I'm going ahead and build it right away actually. Oh no, I can't. I'm out of money completely. Let's just rather use the timber that we have for upgrading more people to workers. Consumption rates are looking fine, even though it's break even. Finally, a bit of money again. Let's build the forest industry number two. So with that, we've essentially doubled our production now. And the let's just see it out. Yeah, we still have a very happy farmer population, so I can still keep the 50% timber uh, boost. And I think we also have a very happy worker population, so I could also just get a 50% boost for my uh, bricks out. Let's do this. To speed up my income of uh, building materials, Fire. and with that, Shot we can build control. faster. Let's also continue building more workers over here as the city is growing. Also, the heavy industry is now finally working, polluting the air, very dirty looking, but also producing, of course, steel beams for us that is so important. And if you've noticed, we have a surplus of steel, of course, because the steel furnaces are producing more than the steel works can consume. And that is for a very good reason, because with that, we can also start then building our first weapons industry that I would like to have as well. Let's build some two weapon factories right away. And with that, weapon production is now starting. Then we're going to need for our harbor defenses and first navy. Once again, I'm continuing to expand the city center itself, which would be that area. And there we go once again with the next foundation, these buildings here, and this is probably going to be my central park area then later that I'm going to keep available. And over here we can see then the big avenue as well. We should also just 
Just have in mind that we're going to need railways at some point, so I'm, I'm going to need some space then as well for these guys. Now, lots of timber. We are actually getting full of that. Let's continue with uh, building the next farmers. This area and also this whole area up here to consume the remaining of our timber. And then we can also go ahead with the next marketplace and pop right over there. In the old world, it's getting a bit nasty in the meanwhile, as Miss Hunt is starting up her first uh, harbor defenses. I think with that, our military score will now crumble. Yes, she has uh, superseded us. Bent is still a bit behind, and Hugo is also now far ahead military-wise, and we will probably not be able to catch up there uh, for quite some time. As always, upgrading my farmers to workers is bringing in the money that I need, because we are still not looking perfect on the balance there. Let's go ahead and also have more workers over here. As always, we need to check though then our balances with that. It's now very close, so any more expansion would lead to more industry and I don't want that for now. So what we're going to do instead, we're going to continue with the next productions that we need for the workers. That would be bread and soap, um, so that we can continue on our journey to the artisans. And for that, I probably would like to start having it here. Before that, however, let's just outline the, the future avenue that I'm going to have then in this area as well. So it's going to be um, looking like that. Alright, so this is then going to be our avenue and we probably could have then some ornaments in the center um, with that. Let's get this one all the way up here. Not too many changes. And then I can have my next production on that side here, which is probably going to be the green now. Newspaper in the meantime, we got uh, two positives here. I would like to probably go in with a bit of... Um, propaganda now for the money once again, right? So we can use some higher propaganda and a bit of consumption. We don't need the the the, the massive happiness there. This is absolutely not necessary, as we do have a very happy population. And now we can begin with our uh, advanced productions, that is the soap. Let's go ahead with our first ones. For that, we do need one soap factory, um, two rendering works and two pig farms. The same goes now for my bread production, uh, where we of course have lots of reserves then left. However, for starters, we can start with the first two grain farms, which is already costing me around 2000 coin and one flour mill. And once you have the money, this will lead then to two bakeries and, well, basically two bread per minute. We do need around, by the way, two bread per minute right now. And a little bit later, the flour mill is working, delivering the flour to the bakery, producing bread it's out of flour, inspection. going right into the mouth of my very greedy population. In the meantime, with the remaining timber, I would like to continue uh, upgrading more of my people to workers. And also, we are getting rid of this spot there, as there's going to be a school in here. This leads to a nice balance for now. I will, however, need more, probably more schnapps than as well down the road. Yeah, we're still having a good production there. So I can save my money. With the bit of money that I have, we can also continue selling now on this island here. The one down in the western corner of my map of Cape Trelawney. And with that, we can stop with the expansion for now. Let's take the remaining building materials back home. We have secured those islands and outside of a war, we're not going to lose them soon. I'm not going to settle too many islands because of, as always, for every island that you have, you always need to have it defended as well. And we cannot defend more than those islands for the foreseeable future. Now, next up, we do have the money. We do have now, I think, also the consumption goods in. And that means I can open up now bread and soap for my population. This will lead to another massive boost in population and also in income. As we can see, we're going to breach 6,000 with that now. And the balance hopefully goes up to 2,000. Which it is. Beware 
Uh, once again, she demands even more money now. And now we have a war declaration uh, by Miss Hunt. That means probably from now on eternal war against this one here. We should make sure that uh, we are on good terms with Bent and Hugo. Not that they would be inclined to go with any alliance with Miss Hunt against us. So let's just make sure that this stays up. War declaration as well. Already in the first session. I'm very surprised by the speed of that. <laughs> and another thing we need to provide is a school which is the last demand for my population before they can upgrade. So let's go ahead and have a, a nice school then right here in the city center with its own little entrance, probably here. And we could have, even have then some smaller ornaments in between. As we don't have a lot of money for ornaments right now, I would not go crazy on that, but something like that just looks fine right in front of it. And with all of the demands fulfilled, my workers would really like to upgrade now. And of course, we're doing this ASAP. So let's go ahead. Starting the Age of Craftsmanship. And with that, we have the first artisans, even more beautiful buildings, even more demands, even more complex industry. And we also have our New World Expedition that I would like to start right away in op order to all open I up the New World that we're going to need now in order to settle there quickly. Because I'm pretty sure the AI is already over there. Let's go ahead and start with that. Let's have some... We do need some rations. Uh, schnapps is always very good for that as it also provides medicine and a morale boost. And bread is probably pretty good for a bit of a faith boost there. And I would definitely like to go ahead and have a few crafting materials on board as well. That would be 50 tons of timber. And with that, let's start the expedition. Endeavor is on the way and hopefully we'll unlock the new world. That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the beginning of Crown Falls, our mega city, one of many that we're going to have in this uh, Let's Play. But this, of course, is going to be the biggest, most majestic one on our way to world domination or total demise. I don't know. Stay tuned. We are masters of our own happiness.